Welcome back. I have said it a million times and I will continue to say it. My dream home is a smart home. So I am so excited to speak to our sponsors from Digi International. They are the leading provider of IoT, Internet of Things solutions. <laughs> and today we are covering how to secure a smart home. And we've got Harald uh, Rimret from CTO Cellular Solutions, Digi International to tell us more. Hi, thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having us. No problem. So look, smart homes are at risk of being hacked sometimes. Like I said, I love smart homes and I really want one, but I want to be safe too. Tell me a little bit about how we can, you know, stay safe from all the hackers. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, smart home is great. You know, I'm, um, you know, I'm a technology professional and I love all the, um, the equipment that can help me, you know, to um, to make this home better, you know, accessible remotely. But the challenge is, uh, you know, there's a lot of bad actors out there, right, that also try to hack into your, your place. Um, and, um, you know, one recent study by the uh, Global Cyber Alliance, um, you know, found that a smart home can have up to um, 12,000 hack attempts per week, right? So that's just incredible. And so, um, so how do you protect for that, um, you know, we've we've really distilled it down in um, uh, really three or four different areas. So the first one is really uh, it's around passwords, right? So when you add a new uh, smart device to uh, your network, to your home network, you know, you want to change the default username and password. Um, this could be on your Wi-Fi router. You, this could be on your you know Google, your um, your Nest device, whatever it might be, right? Um, the second one is really to use a unique strong password with uh, 12 characters or more. Um, and this is really important. You don't want to use the same password that you're using on Facebook or Twitter or so on all of your, um, your uh, smart home appliances. Um, and then the third one around passwords is really to enable two-factor authentication. Uh, and once that sets, uh, is set up, you know, two-factor uh, sends you a notification, text or email to confirm that is you who's really logging in. Then the other, uh, the second part is really around, um, you know, the equipment that you're using, uh, the router. Um, you know, you want to use a quality Wi-Fi router with a good firewall, like one from Digi, uh, you know, which can detect and prevent attacks. Um, also, you want to set your Wi-Fi up with the highest level of encryption, and of course, use a strong uh, password or passphrase. And then um, you want to separate your um, your Wi-Fi network. So you uh, want to uh, have one for your, your work. Uh, you want to have one for your IoT devices, and then uh, have one for guest Wi-Fi, so that you know if one area is compromised, that it does not affect the other one. Absolutely. And then also, if you're working from home, um, you know, like most of us um, still do, um, you want to separate your uh, work and personal devices um, from, uh, and then you know your IT team might be able to provide you with a uh, IT managed router. Uh, or a VPN that really keeps your uh, work secure. Yeah, and that's so good to talk about work because, you know, hackers can also target businesses as well as homes. So given that, how can businesses best defend against hackers? Is it the same as what we do at home or is there something special they should be doing? Yeah, I mean, it's it starts with what we, we would do at home as well, right? But then it goes beyond that. So really, um, when the uh, pandemic happened, um, uh, you know the the walls of the uh, the network uh, that an, um, a business had to uh, build up, you know, expanded all of a sudden, right? So you didn't have the protection of your uh, your office anymore, right? So the physical access protection, the network access prote uh, protection, you know, nobody could just walk in typically and plug in your um, plug in a device, right, Absolutely. and then get access. All right, well, we love that. And I hope all of the, you know, we have so many business owners here in the Pacific Northwest. So, so I hope everyone is listening to that and stay safe. Thank you so much for being here, Harald. I know that helped somebody. I'm taking notes because I want a smart home. <laughs> so thank you to you and our sponsors from Digi International. I cannot wait to stock my home full of all you guys' smart home devices. Now,